Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. The most bizarre uses for gold. Let's explore. Yes, this was sent to me by Silver Honda, who drives a blue Honda. And you heard me and seen me talk about different uses of gold and silver and even some of the other metals out there. And even how gold has been used to decorate food items. Well, that's partially what this is about, but there's other kind of bizarre uses for gold we'll kind of take a look at here in this particular piece. It's currency, it's luxury, it's even dessert. But those are only the base uses of gold. This is the stuff of gods big and small. Since the dawn of civilization was held away over spirit and soul, and what the ancient Egyptians knew then, everyone still knows now, that gold is king, no matter what. With new technology has broadened the ways in which we can use gold, from gold tablets that allow for luxurious excrement, to dessert toppings. And uh, many of the wildest uses of gold have been around since the days of Cleopatra. The lure of gold will always captivate, says Scott Moore, CEO of Eurosun Mining, owner of Europe's biggest in-development gold mine. Currencies come and go, but gold has always enjoyed a relationship with the divine, and often that extends to the bazaar. Surprisingly, while gold has been a symbol of wealth, divinity, and elite status since the beginning of time, it has also been used as simply in simple dentistry as early as 630 BC, while Etruscans used it to make crowns and create bridge work. Even Egyptian beauty Cleopatra is said to have used a gold mask every night to keep her skin looking young. While this may or may not be true, modern-day dermatologists hawk the idea widely to use to sell golden treatments for as much as $6,000. Yes, and we've seen it before. I've even talked about it on this channel and uh, how that has been used uh, for a lot of the facial creams. All of that could just be kind of a marketing ploy. And it wasn't just Cleopatra who was fascinated by gold. Roman emperors such as Trajan reshaped Rome using gold from the very same mining district where Scott Moore's Euro Sun Mining is operating now, Moore noted. The Romans didn't have a fraction of the tools and technology know-how that we have nowadays, but still managed to extract tons of gold from this legendary location. Since the days of Cleopatra, humankind's desire to use gold in ever more bizarre ways seems to have grown stronger by the day with food often the primary target of this creativity. Today, gold appears to have conquered cuisine with everything from gold-covered ice cream to gold tacos, and in uh, tandoori and even 24-carat covered gold steaks. I have posted a, a video about that. Dessert is the obvious choice for gold lovers, and nothing better epitomizes the wealthy penchant for excess of the Golden Opulence Sunday with its $1,000 price tags. It's the most expensive ice cream sundae on the planet, according to the Guinness Book of Royal Records. I wonder how much actual um, ice cream is, or how much gold is in that sundae. Let's take a look at this, this, um, this particular piece. There it is. And uh, let's see, it doesn't say how much ice uh, gold is in that. Lined with a 23 karat gold leaf. So if it's gold leaf, more than likely, it's probably, if I'd be surprised if there's even a gram of gold or even a half a gram of gold in this particular dish here. Uh, it's an adornment type of deal there for sure, but it's very fascinating. There's another picture of it. The ice cream sundae is just for the mildly wealthy. Serendipity serves up something much more outrageous for those who can't find anything else to do with their wealth. The 25,000 frozen hot chocolate is the almost the most expensive dessert in the world. It's made from a blend of 28 cocos from across the world and blended with five grams. There you go. Now we have a weight. Five grams of edible 23 karat gold topped off with whipped cream. On the side comes with a la mandaline truffle from Nipschlick Chocolatier. It's been eaten with a golden spoon and garnished with diamonds. All right. Let's see what this scammer has to say. Yes, hello. 
probably won't answer these auto dialers. They never take it in and it'll hang up very soon. You'll hear the beep of it hanging up very soon. There it is. And, uh, but so you think about it, five grams and, uh, it's $25,000 for five grams of gold. Go figure. I'm going to have that all set on your stomach. The golden dessert price tag, uh, though, goes to Golden Phoenix, a cupcake made of edible gold in Abu Dhabi for $28,000 in 2012. Since then, the cupcake designed by Bloomsbury baker Shafina Yusuf Ali, who donated the first $28,000 to charity, has become a regular feature on the menu, going for as much as a going for a much more modest thousand dollars each. Doesn't say how much gold was used in that. Eurosun's mining Scott Moore was quick to point out that these extravagant desserts aren't exactly bringing investors value for money. With the current cost of gold at over fourteen hundred dollars per ounce, the original. Golden Phoenix cupcake would be worth the equivalent of a half a kilogram of this precious metal. That's right. White flavored gold lollipops uh, were the not so wealthy can play this game too. Containing genuine flakes of 24 karat gold, these lollipops sell for around $36 each. Um, marketers have caught on to the food gold rush though, with a now variety of gold lollipops have invaded the market at different prices. And with different grades and amounts of gold. For the original, the wine makes the flavor because despite the obsession with creating food out of gold, the precious metal doesn't have any taste. That's right. It's just simply an adornment. The Washington Down Trines from Dom Perignon 1995 White Gold Jeroboam with a price tag of $40,000. This limited edition champagne is so expensive because of the white gold bottle. Goldschlager, a popular schnapps, most of us have heard here, is a popular way to booze with divinity, containing a blend of Smirnoff number 21, a hint of cinnamon, and tiny fragments of edible 23-karat gold foil. And no good drink is complete without a good smoke. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Michael Douglas, and Sylvester Stallone have all smoked this now famous cigar packed with premium Nicaraguan gold leaves from Jalapa wrapped in 25 leaves of 24-karat Italian gold. They sell for $295 a pop. What goes in must come out divinely. So, the most precious features of this $15 million Majesty 135 yacht is the gold plated toilet seats, which invoking placing three layers of 21 karat gold on the porcelain toilets, which we talked about uh, 20 uh, gold plated toilet seats in another video. Each one of the cubicles costs more than a $15,000 to create by hand. And even more to the point, the gold pill. In recent years, 24 karat gold pills filled with the gold leaf turn everything that comes out into glittering gold. The pills sell for $425 each, and that's a new one there. And uh, so, yeah, space launches, gold is everywhere. And gold plated vacuum cleaners, another one um, for the made for luxury. And lots of different things. It's pretty amazing. Gold uh, covered food items keep popping up fast and we can keep track of them. And that's probably the best return for your investment if you're putting money into something. You just add a little bit of gold flake to it and, and it just makes it all the more um, valuable to some people. The elite, the rich and the famous will do that. I won't fall for it. I'll never pay that much for something. I'd rather get a gold bar that I can keep and... Uh, Get a lot more for enjoyment out of it and just go to McDonald's or something or just make my own food at home. There you go. So uh, there, you, so it's very interesting indeed. Pretty bizarre, but not terribly bizarre except for the pill, the, the toilet and stuff like that. But very interesting indeed. Thanks again to Silver Honda for sending this article to me. Post your thoughts below. Have you found any other very bizarre uses for gold out there? What's the biz most bizarre use you've found for gold? like to extend a multitude of gratitude y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.